that's right. Basketball is back. The lockout is over, so we can finally get back to the NBA. Now, if you're a basketball fan and you're a Sprint customer, you want to check out the Sprint NBA app. Uh, it's basically a mobile version of uh, the NBA app designed specifically for Sprint. On the surface, there's not too much to differentiate it between the other ones. You've got a schedule right here to see all the games that are playing tonight. You can go to standings to see who's leading the conference, division, or the league. Uh, then you can see leaders for individual stat categories, a schedule for everyone who's playing, and you can see the team. So if you're, you know you want to check out the Dallas Mavericks, you can go to their page and see information tailored specifically for that uh, franchise. Now, uh, the reason why you want to get this if you're a Sprint customer is this little thing called League Pass. League Pass basically lets you watch all the NBA games, you know, subject to blackout. So if, if there's a local blackout in your market, you can't watch that game. But you can watch pretty much all the other games that are playing right now. And if a game is not available on TV, you click this little button right here and you can listen in live to the the disc to the the game the reason you want to get this is because if you're a sprint customer you get a 20 percent discount on league pass so instead of paying the full price you know take 20 percent off boom you save money just like that other areas of the app they have uh the play of the day the dunk of the night uh the video looks pretty good uh, and if you don't have league pass you're going to see this annoying reminder every time you watch a video it's really bad uh, video is like a, a little cloudy. It's not full HD quality, but you know, it's decent for a mobile app. I'm on Wi-Fi right now. You know, it's not crystal clear. Uh, they have other a special video section with highlights, play of the days, assist of the night, all that stuff. They're also going to have live in-game highlights. So if a game is going on and you can't watch the full thing on TV, you can at least watch like an amazing dunk or a big defensive play, stuff like that. You're also going to get articles from NBA.com pulled in. All right, there are no videos or images pulled in, it's just the text. You can also see the NBA Twitter account, the retweets, and the official messages from the league. Uh, you can see all that stuff. Now, this is just basically if you're an NBA fan, you know, you want to have all the information that you can. But if you're like me and you're not really an NBA fan, you're more of a, how you say, team fan, you're going to want to set to favorite team. With favorite team, I can go mark the only team that matters to me in the NBA. The New York Knicks confirm and when I go back you're gonna see that suddenly the tab has changed uh, when I go to stats it's just the Knicks stats just the Knicks roster schedule uh, the arena all that stuff and when I go across this tells me who the Knicks are playing tonight tomorrow and all the way up until whenever that is it just keeps going uh, and then I have team videos specifically for the Knicks like uh, Melo's three-pointer I have the news so this is and uh, the Twitter feed goes directly to the official Knicks feed right here so this is more of a mode for someone who's a fan of a particular franchise otherwise just leave it at the standard NBA settings and everything should be fine if you press menu, you can go to the NBA. You can see scores uh, from uh, across the league. You can see uh, all the things that are happening right now. And if you want to get notified about a specific game, let's say uh, Rockets and Magic. I'm not a fan of the Magic, but hey, I want to watch the game. I tap this little exclamation point, and it'll come up in my notifications before a game starts. You can set that to be for just your team. You can set it to be automatically updated for all of your teams. Uh, if you have three or four franchises that you follow, you can do that as well. You can also click right here to get a game breakdown preview of the game. And while the game is going on, you'll see the score right there. It's a fairly straightforward app, decent. If you're a big NBA fan or you're just a fan of a particular franchise and you want to have League Pass on your phone and you're a Sprint customer, you know, there's a lot of ifs for going on right there. But if you meet all that criteria, you want to grab this app. This is Andrew from Andronica.com testing out the Sprint NBA app. Hope you enjoy it. Hope you subscribe. Have a good day. Farewell.